Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Marley, also known as Next Gen Nero, back with another review. Today, I want to give flowers to Tango Games and Bethesda. Ghostwire Tokyo is an underrated gem. When this game came out last year as a PS5 timed exclusive, um, I think it didn't get the love that it deserved. I've seen a lot of sevens, a few eights, and this game is everything but a seven, in my opinion. Um, this game, first I'm gonna start with the visuals, right? This game is absolutely beautiful, running on the Series X. My buddy on the S says it looks good as well over there. On the PS5, I believe it looks just as good as on the X as well. <clears throat> the atmosphere in this game is, is, is just amazing. The World Tango has crafted here, the enemy variety, the enemy types, the sound design. Uh, yeah, you can pet dogs, you can feed dogs, you can pet cats, and you can shop with cats. That's dope too. I know a lot of people might like that, but like I said, the atmosphere in this game is, is amazing. Um, I just wanted to keep learning more as far as lore about this world. I'm not going to go into story details too much, but I will say it's a journey of a brother trying to save his sister. And I'm going to leave it right there. I don't. I, I want everybody to experience this story the way I did. Funny thing with this game is, when it came to Game Pass, right? I picked it up, I played it, I probably beat about two chapters, did a handful of side things, and then somehow it just ended up in my backlog for about a month, and I never got back around to it. That's kind of the problem with Xbox and Game Pass I'm having at the moment. People say there is no games, but dude, it's so many games, bro so many games and it's always a sale going on so my backlog continues to get larger and larger with each day and with each week but i went back to uh to uh <laughs> ghostwire tokyo right and man it gripped me it gripped me man i would be the first to admit the first chapter or two may be slow the combat might not be as you know uh intense as you want it to be and speaking of combat let me touch on this real quick the combat in this game is amazing bro uh, you're seeing some of the combat in the background. I'm not going to share any story stuff. I'm just going to put some clips, you know, exploring and fighting and stuff like that. As you upgrade through the skill tree and you level up, the combat opens up. The abilities get better. And it's just a it's just a great experience, man. And I, I'm a big fan of the combat in that game. It's uh, it's it's great. It's addicting. It's fun. It's uh, It got weight to it. You can feel the impact when you hit the enemies with your uh, different spells and different powers and stuff like that, right? But back to the story, like I said, it was slow to grip me at first, but after that second and third chapter, man, it's just all all gas, no breaks for me. I love the story. I love that it's no English dub version. I love that it's just Japanese voice acting. In games like this, in these uh, Eastern games, I love when they use the native language to whatever area the game is taking place in. I feel like it's more emotion from the actors. Uh, reading the subtitles kept me more engaged with the plot and the story. That might just be for me. I know it's not for everyone, but I love that. So, so far, like I said, the graphics are amazing. The story is great. It take a minute to get going, but once it get going, it's awesome. It's a lot of content in there. It's a variety to the combat. Like I said, the sound design is amazing. The voice acting is amazing. And I'm not trying to be on no console war bullshit, right? But let's say Ghostwire Tokyo came out exactly how it did, right? But let's slap the, Na the Naughty Dog or the Insomniac or even a Rockstar Games uh, logo over this game, and it's getting 10s and 9s from these outlets. But Tango, man, I just want to give you your flowers. I'm late. Uh, like I said, it didn't grip me right away. And that's, that's the thing about me, right? And, you know, it's like this for a lot of people. Sometimes the games don't connect right away. You, you might get an hour or two in, three hours in. Then you put it down. Then you come back months later. You have a newfound love for these games. I have a newfound love for Ghostwire Tokyo. This is one of the best new IPs I've played in a while. Honestly. <clears throat> I can't recommend this game enough, man. Really can't. Like I said, it's beautiful. The story is beautiful. The ending is heart touching. The journey, the uh the, the possess the, the guy that's possessing your body, KK, the dynamics between him and the main protagonist, Akito, is it's it's beautiful. It's it's dope. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they bump heads in the beginning. Then they become, you know, fond of each other. And by the end, I was just enjoying the dialogue, the back and forth with this game. Not only that, the cherry on top, they gave a free content update 
with new side missions, new things to do, new challenges, combat challenges and stages. Dude, it's just so much to do in this game. So between Ghostwire Tokyo, Evil Within, and Hi-Fi Rush, which I'm still, which I'm about halfway through Hi-Fi, and uh, that'll be the next game I beat, and I may do a review for that. If you want to see a review for that, please let me below, know below. Um, Tango is absolutely killing it, man. And I'm happy Xbox bought Bethesda because, you know, Deathloop and Ghostwire was timed exclusives to Sony, and that's why I tip my hat. They know which good games to get for timed exclusives. When they play dirty, they keep timed exclusives for years. They renew those contracts behind the scenes. Just look at uh, Final Fantasy VII. You know, in Final Fantasy 16, you may not see those on Xbox for years to come, even though they've been confirmed to come to Xbox. But, you know, like I say, the goal for me as a gamer is to own all platforms regardless. The Switch, the PS5, and the Xbox. I'm not really a PC guy. Maybe down the road I'll entertain it. But I've always been a console guy, and I'm going to stay that way. Console game, the Master Race, Series X, the best box, Xbox. But, uh... Yeah, man, but Ghostwire, man, I highly recommend it. If you ever heard any of my reviews, or you a good friend of mine, and you trust my opinion on games, and you haven't played this game, give it a shot, man. Also, the game can really have scary moments at times, man. There's a couple times when my heart was beating like, holy smokes. And on an, even on a normal difficulty, it can be challenging. I've died plenty of times in this game, man. So, Ghostwire Tokyo, give it a shot. If you haven't already, if you have, please let me know what you liked or disliked about it below you know no game is perfect every game has its flaws the game is not for everybody i know a lot of people said it got repetitive but i don't think so just because the main story don't take too long to beat so i guess if you're doing all the side content then yeah it might get a little repetitive but if you're just playing the campaign and you dipping and dabbing in some side things here and there it's a great experience man if i had to put a number on it i say nine out of ten easily great game uh tango please keep up the good work xbox fund these guys man keep at it shit i say give them the crackdown ip give it to somebody don't let crackdown just become one of those forgotten games but yo if you like this video and you made it this far subscribe man help a black content creator out man i'm trying to grow out here you know i'm trying to be more consistent i appreciate everybody watching this leave your boy a like comment below and follow me on Twitter, Next Gen Nero. Follow me on Instagram, Next Gen Nero. Twitch, Next Gen Nero. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Also, Ghostwire is goaded. <laughs> Gotta end it on that. <laughs> Peace.